our civilization started way back at the stone age and at that time there were no cars no skyscrapers no television no fridge no ac or mobiles or laptops well thanks to the curious minds that we humans have a lot of inventions happened and those inventions led to the comfortable world we have today and modern world is associated with rapid technological change and innovations machines and factories railways and steamships but it wasn't that simple and easy at the beginning so let me tell you a story a story of development a story of a wonderful time of technological progress to today's modern age a story of the age of industrialization now industrialization means the process of developing industries in a wider scale so we will understand how industrialization took place worldwide from where it started and how it made its way to india and the struggles and promises it came with now when you go for shopping say you buy clothes pens shoes etc you must have noticed that they all come in an identical batch for clothes and shoes the sizes might differ but they all look exactly the same this precision is possible because they they are manufactured in factories where multiple pieces of the same product are created by machines and that is the case today now before factories and industries came into existence there were individuals who created handmade products and sold them to various people so to manufacture clothes the process involved a chain of people like farmers who grew cotton people who spun the yarn from it weavers who created fabrics from it and tailors who then sewed them into various clothes now these clothes were then bought either by consumers or by merchants who would take these to the other parts of the world to sell them now many historians refer to the setup of the initial factories in england and europe as the beginning of industrialization but as i told you there was a large scale industrial production already in place and that industrial phase is known as proto industrialization now the word proto means first or early form of something now next let's understand what exactly happened during the proto industrialization in detail we already know that before industrialization took place there was a system in which production was done in stages and this production used to take place in the rural areas by traditional methods why let me explain with british sovereignty's acquisition of colonies in different parts of the world british trade started to expand all over the world and the demand for goods began to grow but merchants could not expand their production within the towns because of the powerful urban crafts and trade guilds now these guilds were association of producers that trained craftsmen maintained control over production regulated competition and prices and restricted the entry of new people into the trade and as the rulers granted these guilds the monopoly rights to produce and trade in specific products instead of increasing the demands it was difficult for the new merchants to enter the trade so these merchants turned to the countryside they gave money in advance to peasants and artisans and asked them to produce goods for the international market and this was the time when the peasants had lost control of their fields and common lands that they were surviving on so they had to find out for alternate solutions as the tiny plots some had were not sufficient to provide for the entire family and the family members were also out of work and that is why when the merchants paid them in advance the peasants took up the various jobs more than eagerly in fact each of their family members was involved in the production therefore although these merchants were based in towns they established their productions mostly in the countryside for example even for cloth production cloth merchants in england purchased wool from the wool stapler now a stapler is a person who staples or sorts wool according to its fiber then the merchants would carry it to the spinners and the yarn that was spun was taken to fullers or weavers and finally the cloth was taken to dyers 
and this was the production that was done in stages in rural areas. But the finishing was done in London before exporting the cloth in the international market. So London came to be known as the finishing centre. Therefore, we can say proto-industrial system was a part of a network of commercial exchanges. Also, it was controlled by merchants and the goods were produced by a vast number of producers working within their family farms and not in factories. Now at each stage of production, 20 to 25 workers were employed by a merchant. That means each merchant was controlling hundreds of workers. So it was really a long chain of people working for a single production. And this process obviously took a lot of time as well. So the results that came out was although good in quality, but quantitatively they were very less. And because of the long working hours and fatigue, human errors also became a part of it. So this is when factories came in with the promise of faster, better and quantitative result at the same time. On that note, let's find out when the factories finally started cropping up. Tutomate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.